Hello and welcome back to another Series 3 pre-video vote video where we'll be uh, talking about the vote. I want to thank everybody. Uh, ignore what train that is. The, <laughs> the liver is correct. The train is definitely not. But anyway, I was testing some mods out. We're on the East Coast Main Line at King's Cross. Lovely mod this. But anyway, yes, there's been some drama in the votes, which... Uh, We'll get to shortly. I wanted to give you an idea about what's coming up for the new series. As this is cool. I just want to hear this train pulling away. What a what a, an amazing selection of mods we've got for the UK, and we will be here shortly, shall we say? At least by April. There's a lot of preparation work I still need to do. And you'll see why. Here we are then. This is the King's Cross mod. It's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely marvellous. You build it yourself with little blocks. Uh, we're not going to see this, unfortunately. As London to Peterborough is not going to win. Which brings me on to the vote drama. I do want to thank everyone who voted legitimately. Yes. <laughs> but unfortunately, there was some shenanigans going on. Now, I'm not 100% sure there was, but I was paying close attention to the voting, as obviously I'm invested. I believe the class 43 is about to pull away. Where was I? Yes, very invested in the new series. So I was keeping a close eye on the vote uh, once the video went live, the last video that went up. Oh, that's great. We're going to get down here so we can see the uh, Class 43 come by. But yes, one example, or the one that, that got my attention, was I was checking the votes. There was the odd vote appearing for each of the various options. And then 70 landed at once. Yes, yeah, 70. I won't say which one. It happened for a few of them. So it's not just one. Which is why we've got to do what I've got to do. <laughs> or what I've decided to do anyway. We don't have to do it. I could just call it and pick one at random. But then what was the point of the vote? But yeah, 70 votes within about a minute. And none of the others moved. And like I said, it happened in various amounts for different options. And then didn't move at all. The likelihood of there being 70 people all voting for exactly the same one at exactly the same time is unlikely we're back in King's Cross to see the trains coming back my thinking is it's it was possibly some sort of botnet or a VPN where, where you change the IP or various other ways you can change or mask your IP which is a little unfortunate I mean I'm honored that some people would go to that length to make sure that they're their map of choice is featured in my new series but it's not it's not right is it that's not how voting works so we're going to have another vote the top three at the point before all the sh shenanigans went on is what we're going to vote on and i'll be putting it in the community tab now i should be able to link to that that uh, post so there'll be the links in the usual places. I'll try and get it on the video as well. I don't know whether a capture will work, but I'll give it a go. And uh, you can go and vote on there. It's a lot harder to batch vote on YouTube because you need a YouTube account. And that's a lot of messing around. Uh, it might happen. I'll also be doing a poll for GT Express members on Patreon and on YouTube itself. I love the announcement. Uh, so those guys will get to vote twice. It will be also weighted a little bit as well. One of the perks for being a GT Express member, not that you have to be one, your vote will count. But after the shenanigans, I need some way to, I don't know, verify that the votes are real. And providing nothing goes awry with the new vote, we'll, uh, will start the new series and I'm equally happy 
to start any map. This is just one I am familiar with, and since it wasn't going to win, I thought I would uh, show you what these maps are all about. It's by Oswin. We've got the outlines here that I, I sort of followed, but sort of didn't. Uh, some artistic license is going to be required. I will be going for the essence of the area where we're, wherever we are and doing sort of main junctions as accurately as possible. This is fairly accurate. We don't have all the tools necessary to uh, realistically recreate the junction itself as there are some switches that don't exist or are, in, are impossible in Transport Fever. Two and one. Oh, we're back again. They sit at the station for a while. I was just uh, <laughs> enjoying the scenery. But yeah, you get the idea. This is how it starts. There are no cities, as you can see. Uh, we're going to go and take a look at the three we're voting on. So you can uh, get an idea of what the map looks like. And what we've got to work with. There we go. All the way to Peterborough. Huge maps, as you can see. Uh, London, all the way down here. It will start something like this. This took about a good day. Uh, well, that's not correct. I was learning how to do this for most of it and learning new mods and figuring out which ones I'm going to use and which ones I'm not. As much as I like this, this would be Finsbury Park. Uh, it's a bit flickery. It makes cab rides look terrible. So we're going to improvise as far as curved stations go. Now, there are other forms of curved station out there but uh, we face similar problems we'll make do i'll make it work and who knows in the future station authors are certainly making great strides and i mean i'd really like urban to get involved and actually finish their modular station i feel like it was like half done and they didn't bother with the uh, curved thing perhaps it will come out later that's what I'm hoping anyway. That was the uh, London to Peterborough map. Once we've got the infrastructure down, uh, we'll add the cities or the suburbs. So uh, it wouldn't just be like plonk London down. That's it. It'll be the areas, the subdivisions that are around here. I love these mods, guys. I love them. I'm really looking forward to this. Shall we take a look briefly at the three that are going through to the what the final vote that wasn't supposed to be a thing but due to the shenanigans i'm making it a thing all right first off the south coast which is pretty much brighton to uh southampton with portsmouth in there as well and it's a good one we've got a little bit of isle of Wight on here i'm assuming that's what that is it looks like it would this be ride rid <laughs> which uh, yeah I'm going to be great at the pronunciations, but there we go. It's very much on the coast. There's not much of the uh, northern sections, but, you know, there's a few few major stations on here. And the way we'll be doing this is building an area at a time, getting two stations connected. And we'll go through the eras with the rolling stock. We'll add the cities as we're going. And by the end... I really want it to be uh, profitable as well. Once I'm done building the map at the end of the series, it'll be available on the workshop in its complete form as, I, I guess, a, a working model railway. So you can expand on it. We'll be doing detailing trackside, not so much away, although I'll do a little bit just, just to mix things up in the series. We'll be adding the towns, as I said, gradually. If we start to get performance issues, we can just leave the town until close to done because we can plonk the road infrastructure in and then add the town. So that is the south coast. Uh, so yes, get your vote for that if you want to head down here. Second up, Liverpool to Leeds. And uh, of course, being Liverpool, we're on the coast. And uh, we've got a long way to go through Manchester all the way up to Leeds. And you can see it's starting to get hilly as we get into the uh, Yorkshire area of the map. There we go. And yeah, this will be a challenge. I like the hilliness. There's a lot of variation in it. A lot more variation than, say, perhaps the east coast that we looked at. Just or the south coast, I should say. Not the east coast. That's what I was doing. 
Uh, we've got a lot of rivers in here. These guides, these are going to help the progression of the map. I really can't thank Oswin enough for putting these in. He's going to make my life a little easier. I can, I'll still need to reference cab rides and images of the stations and the uh, junctions, which I did for creating that section of the East Coast Main Line you saw at the beginning. We'll sign out with that, maybe with a little mini cab ride, even though it's a bit rough around the edges. We don't mind. That's how tracks don't do. I see you've dotted them there, Oswin. That's nice. It's probably a big old tunnel. Yes, that's what I'm uh, gathering there. Um, some of it will be roughly where these lines are. We're going to have to make some compromises. I like it, guys. We're going to be doing freight as well as passenger services. Now, this one has a lot of mods available for it, and we've even been promised more mods. So that's something to bear in mind. That is, of course, Liverpool to Leeds with Manchester. Lots going on there. There's a lot to do, isn't there? That should be a lot of fun. And that's up for vote now as well. Again, if I can, if I can get the capture to work, I will put it on the screen again but hopefully voting won't be an issue this time around. Right, final map. And that is Glasgow. To, I was going to say Aberdeen, but that's not where it is. Glasgow to, oh dear, Edinburgh, I believe. Edinburgh, Edinburgh. <laughs> oh dear, I always trip up on that. Coming from Peterborough, I always want to say borough at the end, not burr. Edinburgh. Oh dear, just leave it alone, Grand. Eddie. No, that's not what you're going to call it. My family are actually from Aberdeenshire. I would be certainly interested in a Scottish map. That would be uh, a good challenge, I believe. We've got some decent support for uh, Scotland in the modding scene. I'd have to double check, though. I mean, go and have a look on the workshop yourself see if we've got enough mods for each area i will be scouring them but we'll we'll improvise won't we if necessary i believe there are some scots rail trains around maybe uh, we'll be doing freight where possible as well we'll create freight hubs if there are not enough i think we can get away with major freight hubs in one place and then distribute around the map but yes, here's Scotland. Again, we've got some... Uh, it's not the most mountainous of uh, maps, surprisingly. I would say the uh, Yorkshire side of the Liverpool to Leeds is probably a little more hilly. I don't know, though. It's deceiving. I know I scoot over it like this. I should have gone down. But when you go right down to ground level, they're absolutely huge. That looks like Windows XP almost. <laughs> that's not what that is right anyway yeah there you go lots of river action so we could maybe do some docks on all three maps you'll see so uh, they've all got water they've all got rivers they've all got possibility for docks i mean especially liverpool and southampton and portsmouth and uh i'm not sure on glasgow for docks is it glas is this glasgow I i'm turn around it's one of these, I've only got the wrong way around. Anyway, one of them's Edinburgh and one of them's Glasgow. <laughs> They're on either side of Scotland, aren't they? West and east. But, I mean, there's plenty of water there as well, isn't there? Does it go all the way up? Not quite. Not that it matters. We've got a little lake there. That's cool. And we can add our own, or is that painted on? That might be painted on. I can't tell. That's impressive. I like that. If that is not painted on, that's not painted on is it or is it painted on yes that's got to be painted on what gives it away that's right the famous scottish bears there <laughs> anyhow guys they're the three maps votes will be up we'll head back to uh, peterborough and have a mini cab ride on a roughly done section between finsbury and uh, london king's cross and we're going to be heading up to uh, <laughs> finsbury as it is in its current state. It's not bad for a few hours work. I'm happy with it. It got me back into the recreation side. Was I still up for it? Was I still enthusiastic? Yes. 
is the answer to all of that. Before I go, please only vote once, unless you're a GT Express member, when you'll have separate polls and I'll be merging them all together. So I'm looking forward to the final vote. Only three choices this time, so if you have lost out on the ones that were there, I do appreciate everyone that voted though. It has given us a top three based on the trends we were seeing in Discord. We were discussing it. And this was the best solution. The three you've just seen, not this one. Now this would be my pet project. Maybe we'll come and visit this in live streams as a separate thing. If you'd like to see more of this, I think I could make that work. And then it doesn't tread on the toes of the main series going on. I'll see you for the, uh, we'll be up for a week <laughs> on YouTube. And I'll see you for that video where we'll announce the winner briefly. It won't be a long video and I'll give you a start date then. Looking forward to it. And once again, thank you everybody for voting. And I hope you, you don't mind voting again. Right. Buzzer's just gone. Not the buzzer, the beepy beeps. The doors are closing. And hopefully we don't go backwards. There we go. We're off. I'll leave you with a cab ride. Not said that in a while. And until next time, take care.